The last two years have forced many of us to take stock of our drinking habits. And if you're starting to cut back, you might be part of the growing Sober Curious movement. But just what is Sober Curious and how are big names getting involved? Maria Villarreal takes a look at the new drinks, the new spaces, and the mindset of this sweeping trend. Of all the things Texas can claim, subtlety is not one of them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might be able to go to a bar with these on. Welcome to Austin, home to big football, big boots, and of course, big parties. And on 6th Street, you'd be hard pressed to find a place that isn't a bar. On Friday night, just a few blocks from downtown, Sands Bar is just as busy 30 minutes after opening. But the cocktails made here have no alcohol. People will just be bar hopping and they'll just come through the door. And when they walk in immediately, they know that something's not the same. Is it that OS moment? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, they look around, they hear music, they hear music, they see people, people are laughing, drinks are being clinked around. Something's different and it's the energy. A first of its kind in Texas, the Sands Bar is fueled by a growing movement known as Sober Curious. It means asking yourself if being served alcohol is serving you. The expression coined by author Ruby Warrington in 2016. When you talk about questioning your drinking, what does that mean? Perhaps when it came to problem drinking, it wasn't quite as black and white as you're a normal drinker or you're an alcoholic. Warrington quickly discovered she wasn't alone. Pre-pandemic, she hosted sober curious events with hundreds in attendance and wrote two best-selling books about giving up booze. A lot of the times when we think about removing alcohol, we think that life's going to become boring or not be as fun. <laughs> but framing it as, could my life be better without alcohol? actually kind of opens the door to all sorts of possibilities. In the early days of the pandemic, we all saw the headlines and the TikToks. Bored in a house, bored in a house, bored. Drinking in lockdown. A 2021 study published in JAMA found that the frequency of alcohol consumption increased 14% from the previous year. For women, binge drinking surged 41%. A lot of people have got to a point where they're actually starting to question their drinking. Dry January is a popular entry point, including for our own Dr. Jen Ashton. You're having a dry right. January. Once again, TJ and I doing dry January. They function better. They're thinking more clearly or just, you know, they've done this experiment in self and they've found positive results. That's what life is about. The growing number of people dipping their toes in the sober, curious pool is now pushing the beverage industry to make room for newbies. In fact, alcohol-free product sales shot up 33% in 2021, according to Nielsen IQ. Even dedicated shops opening up. Big-name celebrities like Katy Perry, Blake Lively, and Macklemore cashing in by creating their own non-alcoholic drinks. Supermodel Bella Hadid teaming up with Jen Bachelor's company Kin Euphorics as a part of a whole new class of so-called adult functional beverages. This dietary supplement, a concoction of ingredients like caffeine, 5-HTP, and vitamin B6. Kin Kin. I look to herbs, I look to Ayurvedic medicine and sort of stress management techniques. She says the success speaks to something greater, a generational trend. Gen Z is, is dubbed the sober generation. They just didn't pick up drinking. They don't even have the same qualms that me and my friends do about, okay, wait, when's a good time to stop drinking? How am I gonna do this? And like planning around it. They're just like, it's presupposed that everything they put in their body should be good. Can you Forex, based in Austin, is one of the many options stocked behind Chris's bar where he shows us his signature non-alcoholic cocktail. Yeah. There you go. Is yeah, I like it. I love it. Okay. I can see why people come here. This really does make me feel like I'm drinking an alcoholic drink. Yeah. Chris's idea to open this bar was born out of his own struggle with alcohol that started when he was 16. When did you have your first drink with alcohol? On a very hot Texas day, I had beer that had been sitting in someone's trunk for six hours. Oh, gosh. But then I had this amazing feeling, and it was this feeling of connection. I felt like I belonged, like I was one of the boys. And that was when I connected alcohol with connection and belonging and being a part of. At 23, Chris was in rehab. He gave up alcohol and became an addiction therapist 
specializing in alcohol. When I got into rehab, the first thing I heard was someone tell me, you don't ever have to feel lonely again. And so this space that we're sitting in today is a direct result from that very real statement that someone made to me 15 years ago. While going sober curious can be daunting, telling others represents another hurdle. Once you find that support, taking it a day at a time seems less scary. So maybe they're asking, you know, why don't you drink? And instead of the, the typical way that conversation could go, you can answer this evolutionary and this positive question of, yeah, I don't drink because I'm really focused on my writing right now. And then the questions that come after that are much more interesting. Oh, tell me about the book you want to write. A sentiment shared by John Flores, a regular at the Sands Bar. You know, you can come here, sit here and just sit at the bar and not talk to anyone all night, or you could meet two or three new friends tonight. Liquid courage replaced with clear-headed encouragement. I survived because of this community. This community lifts this concept up. The Sober Curious Life is asking you to start over, build anew, and find new fun and new adventure. Our thanks to Maria. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.